Vitiligo is a skin disorder which causes the loss of pigment, melanin, in the skin. Though it affects around 45 million people worldwide, common understanding of vitiligo has been clouded by misconceptions, leading to the stigmatization of those affected by the disease. However, modern medical understanding easily corrects much of this misunderstanding. In presenting this information, we hope to facilitate a better common understanding of vitiligo and to help people gain an insight into this distressing disorder. Misconception has borne a stigma surrounding vitiligo in many societies. A central problem has been the fear of contagion. Some people think they will catch vitiligo, particularly by skin-to-skin -skin contact. However, we now know that vitiligo cannot spread from person to person. Vitiligo cannot be transmitted by touch, inhalation, saliva, blood, or sexual intercourse. Some of the more outlandish misconceptions about the causes and effects of vitiligo have spread and developed to such an extent that they could be called vitiligo myths. For example, one myth is that certain perfumes or deodorants can trigger vitiligo. Another is that one might catch vitiligo by patting a dog with white spots on the head. Some others are that it's caused by sleeping in a bad location, by having eaten raw meat as a child, or by giving blood. Another myth is that the white patches turn cancerous and into awful wounds in old age. This is simply not true. Unfortunately, the perpetuation of misunderstanding and myth and the social stigma of vitiligo often have an historical or cultural context. Ultimately, the disease has been seen as divine punishment or retribution for wrongdoing or the result of bad karma. The reality is that years of scientific research have shown all this to be entirely baseless. It has been found that vitiligo is caused by the destruction of melanocytes, the pigment-producing cells of the skin. When these stop functioning, no pigment is produced, and so the skin in that area becomes white in color. This is a well-documented biological process, totally unrelated to a person's behavior or beliefs. However, in some places, this has even extended to problems in law. For example, in Iranian legislature, the Islamic term baras, meaning leprosy, has been confused in translation with vitiligo, resulting in particular problems for women who develop the condition, causing marriage or family breakdowns. All of this adds to the burden of vitiligo and its impact upon individuals. While there are correlations between vitiligo and some diseases, it is not known to be specifically related to leprosy or other skin disorders such as albinism or skin cancer. There are clear distinctions between each of these disorders. They have separate causes and symptoms, and none are related to vitiligo. Like many diseases, the onset of vitiligo has been incorrectly linked with diet, particularly the belief that it can be aggravated by drinking milk, especially shortly after eating fish, or by mixing pickles with yogurt, or that eating white foods or sour foods such as citrus fruit will increase its spread. In truth, diet has never been shown to cause vitiligo. While dietary research into potential nutritional preventatives is ongoing, it is widely recognized that a balanced diet is good for the overall health of your skin. Although no definitive proof has been found, there are some factors which have been implicated as triggering vitiligo, of causing the onset or spread of patches on the skin. These include skin injury, emotional stress, pregnancy, illness, and severe sunburn. Vitiligo is a distressing condition. It can be psychologically devastating. Anxiety and depression commonly follow diagnosis amid a preoccupying struggle to come to terms with it. The reaction of others is often the most important factor. This is not helped by the misconception that people affected by vitiligo are in some way inferior in their physical or mental capabilities. The truth is that vitiligo is not associated with intelligence. It has no effect on the brain or any other part of the body. The effects of vitiligo are restricted exclusively to the skin. 
Today's medical understanding of vitiligo dismisses the misconceptions that have underpinned the unfortunate stigma associated with it. It is our hope that as this knowledge becomes more widely known, there will be a better understanding and a greater acceptance of individuals living with vitiligo.